Hey guys, so today I wanted to take you through kind of what I would look for um, if I was doing an equity name for in Bloomberg. Kind of how to get started, how to look up a couple basic things, and uh, we'll get into a little more advanced steps later. First off, let's try um, how to type in a name and kind of get to their screen. I'm going to use Disney as my example here. So we would get to the screen here uh, and where the blue box starts up. Type in always their ticker first. So we're going to use Disney. Their ticker is DIS. And then A key, which is which has equity on the keyboard. So F8 is equity. DIS, equity. And then hit enter, that enter go green button. Here you can see kind of a basic layout of what it shows in Bloomberg. Um, we have the price up here, kind of the volume from today's trading. Uh, and then a lot of the main uh kind of main screens you can click on to get information out of bloomberg probably the one most people are familiar with or should become familiar with is the des screen so you can click on it here i always just like to just type in des uh, i would write that one down you're always going to use that one anytime you get to a new company especially when you're not familiar with i always go to the des screen here we can see a little bit, um, kind of a definition of what Disney does. I think we're all pretty familiar with the company. Um, also, kind of a price chart for the year. We can click on that. I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, another one I would go to is typically the ratio section. This gives you kind of the main, uh, the main profitability ratios, the main per share data, earnings per share, um, EBIT, EBITDA from the last year. The PE ratio should be here somewhere. There it is, 19.3. It's typically a well, well used um, uh, ratio that we'll use. And then also, I will go to the revenue and EPS screens. Kind of shows you year to year how the stock has been performing uh, in its revenue and then also earnings per share as well. So this is typical. I don't spend much time on on here. For some of the bigger companies, you can get a full company primer. Um, it's under BICO, or you can click on it here. Uh, we'll click on it. Gives a whole ton of data, kind of on their main, uh, kind of their main um, issues going on today. And always to get back, you can hit the menu button. The menu button's above the F12 key. So we've done we've done kind of the DES screen. That's always a, a, a primary place I would go to. And then another place I'll show you is the GP. So uh, when you're in in here. Once we're already at Disney, you can just type it in. You don't have to hit DIS equity every single time. You've already hit DIS, so then hit GP. And then this gives you kind of a price chart for, this is for a year. Uh, the default setting is for one year. You can then change it from up here, type in the dates. Uh, year to date's only going to be a few days, but you can see the five-year chart here, um, here for Disney. A couple things you can do with this, you can annotate it. Uh, I always like to see, okay, a percentage change. You know, let's see from about the bottom to the current day. Looks like it's up about 243%. You can see that right here, 243% um, since that those days. And uh, if we just do a one year, let's see where it's going from about this first day. Uh, we're up about 7%. So. Uh, just some things you can do. A lot of technical an uh, analysts will use this kind of stuff. Um, I won't get into this, but you can do some trends, uh, some fun stuff here. Just kind of wanted to introduce this to you. And then if you ever mess up, just hit this trash can and click off on these. I think you hit the trash can each time, but uh, then it will show up like that for you. So a couple things we learned today. DES screen is typically where I'll go. Um, First off, to get a description of the company, and then next I'll go to the GP just to kind of get a sense of where the trading's been doing the last year. Also, we can see the volume where it's ticked up. Huge tick up here. Something must have happened here. I'll show you next time how how to kind of um, how to kind of see what's going on on these big um, these big events. We can kind of see the news and now uh, and what's going on. We'll use Disney as an example. I just think it's easy. Uh, throughout this time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.